Hello chess lovers, here is a fantastic chess puzzle by famous Russian chess composer Somov Nasimovich. This was first published in a Russian chess magazine 64 in 1939. It's white to move and draw the game. But here is an interesting fact. While I was analyzing this puzzle using chess engine Stockfish, the engine found a refutation line. And it turns out that actually black can win the game. Now I will show you the author's suggestion how white can draw the game. And then I will show you the refutation line as well. In this position, according to the author, the best move is rook e7. Queen takes e5. It seems like this is a very strong move, but this is not the best continuation, this queen takes e5 move. Though, of course, this both protects the bishop and also threatens a checkmate on b2 and also on e1 as well. But also, this allows white to promote its f-pawn to a queen. Now comes king g1, c3, queen e1 check, bishop b1, queen takes c3, an amazing move. Well, if you take on c3, black can checkmate. What a beautiful checkmate. So, instead of taking on c3, it turns out that White has only one way to draw the game. Can you find the drawing line? White pieces are just becoming desperados. They are starting to sacrifice themselves. Rook g7 check. Bishop takes g7. And now comes queen f1 check. King takes f1. You have to accept the sacrifice, otherwise you will lose the game. And now comes this bishop, bishop d3 check, king e1, b takes c3, already white has opened up a space for the king to escape. Now if you take on c3 there will be no checkmate. But black has this strong king d2 move. And another strong move by white, bishop c2, king c1. And the last best move by white, bishop b3. Black takes on b3 and this is a stalemate. An amazing puzzle. But let's go back. After rook e7, according to the engine, the best move is bishop d5. Now, if you play rook e8 at once, threatening to promote your pawn to a queen, then you can lose the game, because after king e2, f8 queen, black has this queen a7 check. And now if queen a3, then queen g1 is a checkmate. And if king b1, this queen a2 check, king c1 and queen a1 checkmate. Now can you understand why black play this king e2 move? But let's go back. So instead of playing rook e8 in this position, white can play c4. Bishop takes c4 and only now rook e8. Already white has opened up a space for the king to escape. Now comes bishop takes f7. Bishop takes f7. And in this position, a lot of engines are making a mistake by taking on f7. Because when you take on f7, white can easily draw the game. By taking on h8, queen d5, rook c8, queen takes e5, rook c3. And this is a classical example of a fortress. White is easily building a fortress. White will just move its king and there is no way to win with the black pieces. So let's go back. In this position, instead of taking on f7, the winning move for black is queen h6. Bishop d5, now comes king e3. A very cunning move. It turns out that the idea of playing king e3 is that after bishop c4, black has this queen h2 move. And it turns out that the idea of playing king e3 
is that in order to open up this second rank, and now you can't move your pawn because there is a checkmate on b2, so white is losing its pawn on e5. For example, a move like rook d8 can be met with bishop takes e5, rook d3 check, king f4, rook b3, queen c2, bishop f7, queen c7, bishop e8, queen a5 check, king b1, queen e1 check, king a2. There are a lot of possibilities, this is one of them how to win. Well, you are simply taking on b2, rook takes, queen takes e8, and black can win the game. Of course, playing with a queen against a rook requires a lot of knowledge and also skills. There are some basic ideas that you have to know in order to win, but of course this is winning for black. An amazing puzzle, I think, but let's have a look at it once again. I especially I like the the author's suggestion by this taking only five. F8 queen, king g1, c3. This is just an amazing puzzle. Taking on c3, and now comes this rook sacrifice. And now the queen. Now the bishop. King e1, b takes c3, king d2, bishop c2, king c1, bishop b3, bishop takes b3, and this is a stalemate. This much. Your comments and questions, please. And thanks for watching. Good luck.